Okay guys, so here's the deal. Legendary Samoan hip hop group Booyah Tribe, Eminem, and Cypress Hills Be Real convened in 2003 for the single 911, one of 12 tracks on Booyah's West Coast Nostra album. But it turns out, the song wasn't just a typical collaboration between rappers, it's much deeper than that. Last month, Booyah Tribe's nephew Monster Ganja appeared on an Australian radio show where he spoke about his uncle's side hustle working as Slim Shady security back in the day. In the process, he revealed Eminem was once being extorted by the Los Angeles Crips, something reflected in the 911 lyrics that's how that um that song hip-hop is in the state of 911 with Booyah Tribe and Be Real that's how that song came about because um Paul, Ro- Paul Rosenberg yeah mm. yeah he reached out he was getting extorted by some crips who Paul Rosenberg was or well, Eminem. Eminem was getting extorted by some crips meaning that they're saying you can't come out here unless you pay us or yeah maybe like he was paying them money and yeah. Just like getting bullied. I don't know yeah. the exact details. Yeah, so I don't know the exact details, but I do know that a few phone calls were made, and then that's how the feature came about because they were like, anything in return, what do you want? And they was like, I want a feature from M, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah M, yeah, if you see, if you hear what he says, you know, he's like 40, 50 Samoans. He throws the lyrics out, so yeah. In a recent interview with Hip Hop DX, B Real was asked about the song's backstory, and while he admitted he wasn't really aware of the politics going on behind the scenes, he learned about it later. I didn't hear too much about that because I never got involved in any of that stuff with M, he told DX. They just called me to be on this record, and Booyah, they've always been family to us. Gangsta Ridd was one of my big time homies. They were always with us in the early days. And so when that project came up and I heard M was on it, I'd always wanted to flip on a record with him. So it was easy work. It was family, and M was on it. I was like, oh, sh- all right, let's do it. And I didn't think of the politics. He was just somebody I wanted to get down with because I love him. He's one of my favorite top three, and so I had a chance to work with him there along with my family. It was a no-brainer to me. And yeah, you know the politics, I heard about it later, but Booyah watched that sh- for them. Anyone familiar with the Booyah tribe is aware of their intimidating stature. Originally comprised of brothers Paul Gangster Ridd, Vincent Gotti, Donald Cobra, Danny Monster O, Roscoe Murder One, David EKA, and the late Ted Godfather DeVoe, the group always rolled deep and had a way of ironing things out. No one was with those guys, you know? Be Real added. If they got behind you and they said, hey, he's with us, you don't f with him. Nobody f those guys. But yeah, I was just glad to get on it. And me and M talked about it sometime later and it was just a cool experience. I was glad to be on it for sure. But what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.